Hey folks, this is Maria Rue. Welcome to my channel. I invite you to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you enjoy the content, please remember to hit like and feel free to share. It has been a while since we've recorded. I've missed you guys. I've missed recording for you guys. You know, funny thing, since this is an informative channel, and when we started this channel, the idea was to just record when we had, you know, in new information, we wanted to report changes that, you know, were taking place in legal processes such as immigration, real estate, um, law. We figured, well, we're going to report, but it's not going to be a constant thing, you know, because it's just to report changes. Then it went developing, and you guys started creating the content by the questions that you asked. So you pose the questions, and the answers that we provided to those questions became the content of the channel. Uh, it's gotten to the point where we have enough questions to be recording weekly. <laughs> so, you know, we, we apologize that it has taken so long to, you know, record and, you know, in that way, respond to your questions. And we promise to make an effort, a conscientious effort to record on a more regular basis so that you don't have to wait too long to receive a response to your questions. Because as I've said previously, if one or two people are asking a question, that means that more people are wondering about it. So this is why responding to these questions is so important, because I know that these are the concerns of more than just a few, okay? So in keeping with that, guys, uh, the first topic we're going to address today is property taxes in the DR. Now, we've talked about this before. Uh, DR does have property taxes. Those come into effect for um, properties that are worth 5 million pesos or more. Now, 5 million pesos at the current exchange is about $94,340. So if your property, the property that you purchase, costs that amount or more, then you would have to pay property taxes in the amount of 1% of the value of the property, okay? Now, good news is that those over the age of 65 are exonerated from, from paying property tax. So, and also those who have residency under the investment uh, program. So if you have residency through the investment department, it says residencia por inversión, you have an exoneration that will last about three years, okay? So you will have, you won't have to worry about paying that property tax. Now, important thing, okay? Paying that property tax is necessary for those of you who must because it accumulates penalties if you don't. And so you realize that 1% annually, the 1% of the worth of that property can multiply to a very large amount if you forget about it and you don't pay it, okay? Now I wanna tell you something. Penalties by the Dominican IRS, the same thing as you know any internal revenue service around the world, they multiply fast. That amount goes up quite quickly. In fact, it's it's amazing that a person who you know neglects to pay their taxes from a small amount ends up paying a huge chunk. And if you look at the breakdown of what they're paying, most of it is penalties, okay, for late payment. So for those of you who are not 65 or older, and for those of you who don't have residency under the investment program or Confitur, because I've explained before that Confitur is an incentive granted by the Ministry of Tourism. And what it does is it um, exonerates that property that you're buying from taxes for about 15 years. So not only are you exempt from property taxes, you are exempt from the transfer tax, or any income generated by that property. But those of you who don't have any of the above, stay on top of those taxes because those penalties, they bring the amount up significantly and quite quickly, okay? So annually, 
that must be paid for 1% of the value of the property for any property um, worth 5 million pesos or more. So I hope the information was helpful. And if you have additional questions, please feel free to contact us in any of the numbers or the email located in the comment section. Okay, guys?